Language is probably the defining feature of human beings. Uh, there's probably nothing else that whatever your profession, whatever your religion, whatever your station in life, whatever your field of research, you have to know about. Language is just so complex, so variable, that we need a whole new set of approaches to deal with it. So we need a place where they're all pulled together and the scale of this is going to allow us to do that. The centre was created because we saw a need for bringing together research across Australia and across disciplines that are involved in looking at language. Language is what really brings human societies together. So understanding language is part of lots of disciplines and what our centre intends to do is to bring together people from lots of different disciplines to work together to understand better what language is, how we use it, how it's structured, how it changes over time. Australia is in a very strange position because mainstream Australian society is very monolingual and monochrome and yet the indigenous heritage it sits on is incredibly diverse. There were around 300 traditional indigenous languages here. So there's a tussle between that. And on top of that, we live in the most linguistically diverse region of the planet, because just to our north is the island of New Guinea, with over a thousand languages, about a sixth of the world's languages are spoken in less than 1% of its land surface by less than 0.1% of its population. So part of our challenge is the responsibility to deal with this very fragile and fascinating diversity in our neighbourhood. But we're in a sort of weird squeeze point where we're coming out of 200 years of monolingual Anglo-Saxon English-speaking nationhood, looking backwards to a mosaic of linguistic diversity on this continent in its indigenous past, and looking forward to engagement with lots of other large powerful nations whose languages we will probably have to come to terms with much more than we have. So one of the things about the centre is that it offers, offers us a chance to develop new, new tools to ask new questions about English, but also about all of the other 2,000 or so languages in our part of the world. The great strength of the, of the centre is the number of different people and institutions that are involved. So we have in Australia four collaborating institutions. This means that the research will be spread across four institutions, that students and researchers will be able to move between these four institutions very freely and we hope that this will pr produce a great atmosphere for the next generation of researchers. We have partner investigators in North America, in Europe, in Asia, in New Zealand who will work with us frequently and who were chosen because they have expertise that's really missing in Australia. So we want to bring in the, the missing bits and have it regularly on the agenda in what's happening in Australian language sciences. There are policy implications for, from the work of the centre in all different areas, particularly in terms of a government educational policy. How do you teach children? Do you, teach, do you immerse them in a foreign language or do you start by teaching them through their own language and then gradually introducing the dominant language? Each language that walks in through the door has something to teach us because of what it's like, how it's evolved what problems it's solved. That's why we call the centre the centre for the dynamics of language, because we see each language as an ever-changing device, if you like, or culture or tradition or tool, and we see the way it changes in any given case as telling us, as, as holding the answers to our question, what is language?